Let's talk about the Texas power grid for a moment. It worked this week, and we have to give them credit, it worked well. Live look right now for you from the ERCOT website. And this is the same thing you could look at if you want, if you log in. The conditions are still in the green, means they have been doing a good job through this week's winter storm. It's been green the entire time, and the grid has held up despite some near record levels of electricity demand. We peaked out earlier this morning. Investigative reporter Brian New joining us from Plano with what was different this time around. So a lot of us these past couple days have been hitting refresh on the ERCOT website to see if the grid was holding up. And throughout the storm, it did with electricity to spare. As this latest Arctic blast hit the state, the power for most Texans stayed on as the grid stayed steady. The power grid continues to perform well at peak demand during this winter storm. For most of the duration of the storm, ERCOT was working with a capacity cushion of 17,000 megawatts. In other words, enough extra electricity to power 3 million homes. Governor Greg Abbott touted the changes the state has made since last February's storm. The actions taken by the legislature, by the PUC, and by ERCOT have resulted in a stronger grid. Compared to a year ago, the grid now has 15% more power generation capacity. Power plants are now required to be winterized. The Vistra power plant in Midlothian spent nearly $50 million in the past year to do that. We can't have people die. We can't have people without power. Officials with ERCOT say there were some cases of reduction in the supply of natural gas during the storm, but not enough to impact the grid. Natural gas facilities say they too have winterized equipment, although the state has not set the rules on the industry. As I said yesterday, and I can say again today, the Texas electric grid is more reliable and more resilient than has ever been. So now the big question is, can the grid perform just as well if the next winter storm is longer and more severe? It's a question experts say is too early to answer. In Plano, Brian New, CBS 11 News. Brian, we thank you.